Hmm. I wonder if I should do puns in this review. Hey there, everybody. This is 20 to Tiger Dude here, and I'm here to review Wonder. So Wonder is written and directed by Stephen Chabosky, who is the same writer and director of per The Perks of Being a Wallflower, and he also happened to write Beauty and the Beast earlier this year. And the film stars Jacob Tremblay, Owen Wilson, Julia Roberts, and Mandy Paddington. So Wonder tells the story of this little boy named Augie who has, let's just say, a unique face and he's gonna go to elementary school for the first time. He's gonna be hitting fifth grade. We see how kids accept Augie, but also kids that give Augie a hard time, and that's all you really need to know for this story. So when it comes to Wonder, I really like the trailers. I really did. I was very interested in this film. Now, I have not read the book. I know this is based off a book. I do not read a lot of books. I don't know what that says about me, but, I have not read the book for Wonder, and um, I just really wanted this to be a nice movie, a nice heartfelt story. And that's exactly what Wonder is. Wonder is a very heartfelt story about acceptance, about being kind to one another, and not being so cruel to someone because of how they look. Steven Chabosky, I felt, did a very good job of directing this film. The cinematography does look really good. I think it just looks very well lit. And as far as how he takes you in with these characters, the movie is just very well directed. And I was very impressed by it, as well as the script. I was very impressed overall with how this movie was written. And something that actually impressed me about Wonder is that it's not just Augie's point of view we get in this film. We also get his sister Via's point of view. Uh, we also get his friend that he just made at school, Jax. Like, you know, you get a few other perspectives in this film. And I thought that was actually really cool. And it was something I didn't really expect, to be honest, when I went to Wonder. And it was definitely the major element that surprised me. And I did feel that, for the most part, it definitely worked for what they were trying to tell. Jacob Tremblay did a very great job of playing Augie. He was just so sympathetic. You felt very bad for him. He's a very good-hearted kid, but... He's a good-hearted kid that's going through a lot at school and he's just learning how to really fit in at his school and trying to make new friends. It was just very cool to see all that from the character's point of view and I thought Jacob Tremblay just did such a great job of making this character feel very genuine and he added the right amount of emotion. I never felt like he was forcing in his performance and obviously Jacob Tremblay from the few things I've seen from him, um, you know, he was also great in the book of Henry earlier this year too. But, um, you know, for what I've seen of his movies, at least, he's definitely proven to be a very impressive child actor. And Wonder just continues to show why I think he's one of the most impressive child actors working today. He really is great in this role. Julia Roberts as his mother. I thought she did a very great job. And while, you know, obviously the movie focuses more on the kids, which I thought was very cool, but whenever the movie, you know, it was centering around Julia Roberts a little bit, I, th I did think she was very good. And Owen Wilson, of course, Owen Wilson is such a likable actor. I really do like this guy and I loved his role as the father. He really is so good in this film. When the father shows up, um, I'm just smiling or I'm laughing but when we do get to the more serious moments Owen Wilson does such a great job and you can tell just like with the mother the father does care for his son very much and something I just want to address very quick before I do move on to the sister is that even though this movie obviously doesn't focus on the parents a whole lot. You get a good amount of scenes with Owen Wilson and Julia Roberts for sure. But obviously since more of the attention goes towards the kids, the movie's not focused on the parents, but for what the parents needed to serve, for me, I thought they did serve very well for the storyline. They served their purpose. And someone I have to say I was not expecting 
expecting the movie to really flesh out when it starts out. I have to say, the sister in this film actually really impressed me. Via, she's played by Isabella Vidovic. Hopefully that's how you pronounce her name. If I didn't pronounce that right, I do apologize. But she was actually really good as Via. It was very cool to get her perspective. I thought it was just going to be one of those movies where the sister is just really more of a background character. And it came off as that when the film started out. But then when we get a little bit more into the film, you actually get to see certain things from her perspective. It was very cool because the movie is very realistic and not only how kids could treat another kid for the good or for the bad, but it's also very realistic in how a younger child could get more attention from the parents than the older child. Obviously the parents, it's not like they don't love Via, they obviously love Via, but because Augie is younger and because obviously since Augie is going through stuff, the parents are focusing more of their attention on Augie, but Via is obviously going through some stuff and I actually genuinely cared about this character. I was actually just as invested with Via's side of the storyline as I was with Augie's side of the storyline. I also have to say, I like Via's boyfriend too. I thought he was very likable and the actor that portrayed him, I did think he did a very good job. And the more dramatic moments in the film, I did feel were very honest. Um, that's what I could really describe Wonder. I think it's a very honest, it's a very heartfelt, um, it is funny too. The humor is funny when it's there. I really wasn't bored once watching this film. I really found myself invested from beginning to end with the story and I genuinely wanted to see how the storyline was going to really wrap up. The other performances I did really like here too, like Mandy Paddington plays the principal and although he doesn't get that much screen time for what he did have as the principal, I have to say the principal did serve his purpose because he's a really cool principal and the reason he is so cool is because he's definitely very understanding. All I'm going to say is as far as his character goes, I found his character very engaging whenever he was on screen. I thought P Mandy Paddington really did such a great job. Also Davy Diggs as Augie's teacher, I have to say, I was actually very impressed with him too. This teacher was so cool and you could tell that he did care for a lot of his students. And that's the thing I have to say I was impressed by with Wonder. Even the characters that don't get a lot of screen time, those characters I still felt managed to serve very well for the storyline. The actors that played Augie's friends I did really like, like the little kid that played Jack Will. I thought he was actually pretty good in this film. I really liked him. There's a young girl named Summer, and I thought the actress that played her was honestly really good. And the score here for Wonder, I thought it was very well done. I thought it was a beautiful score that did fit this film, that did fit the more kid-friendlier moments of this film. And I'm not gonna lie, there's a couple of times where I almost teared up. I was getting watery eyed a few times watching this film. I didn't get like a full tear out but I was actually pretty close. As far as problems do go for Wonder, I will say that the film is just a little bit unfocused because you know without getting too much in this film it'll focus on this one storyline like we'll focus Augie here then there's Via there and then there's Via's best friend Miranda who I'm gonna get into in a little bit and then we're gonna get into Jack Will and then we're gonna get to Julia Roberts like just sometimes I feel like how the film would just go to certain moments it was just a little bit unfocused for me. I won't lie when I say that some of the child performances really are not good in this film, particularly with the bully and some of his uh, other friends. I'm going to be honest, they were not that good. Like I said, Jacob Tremblay, 
the actress that played Summer, the little actor that played Jack Will, they were pretty good, but I felt like the actor that played the bully and the other characters, yeah, the child performances there I did feel were really weak and they definitely could have been better. Also, when it comes to Miranda, who plays Via's best friend, in this film there is a little conflict because Miranda came back from like a camp and she's just been disconnected with Via ever since and we do focus on Miranda's point of view just for a little bit for not that long in this film but we get some kind of insight as to why she's been disconnected from Via but the movie didn't really focus on her point of view all that much unfortunately and her reason for being disconnected with Via it was pretty dumb to be honest they didn't really add enough info i feel i feel like the film could have fleshed her out more the way augie was fleshed out the way via was fleshed out jack will even though yeah you don't get you don't see his point of view for that long too i think they fleshed out enough of his story you know enough to where we could see his side and understand his side as far as this bully goes I wish that they gave him his focus because he's just like, okay, yeah, he's a bully and that's really it. I don't know if the book maybe gave him his own perspective, but I think in a movie version, and I am judging a movie as a movie, I felt like in the movie, we could we should have gotten his point of view. We could have gotten his backstory. We do eventually meet his parents, but like even when you do eventually meet his parents, there's just not enough info added to his side of the story. And as for a final issue, I'd say the end is a little bit rushed. It's still a really nice ending, but I did feel that it was just a little bit rushed, and that's really it for me. Overall, Wonder is a wonderful movie. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna shut up now. I really do think that this is a very delightful movie. It's a very important movie. It does a very good job of addressing important things like accepting others and being kind to one another. How not just one person has a bad day, but another person could have a bad day. It addresses all these things that I felt the movie did a very good job of addressing. And it's a, definitely a film that I feel would be good for the entire family. And I definitely hope Hope plenty of parents could take their kids to see this one. It really was refreshing to watch a movie with this kind of story, with the kind of structure the storyline has. The performances from everyone, aside from some of the child performances, I felt were very fresh, very solid. The writing was very well done. The directing is very solid. And it has a nice balance of making me laugh and making me smile, but also making me feel sad. And it all came together at the end of the day as being a very honest and very just well done storyline. I do really like Wonder and I'm going to give it three out of four stars. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know what did you think about Wonder and have you read the book? If you have read the book, let me know what you think about the book for Wonder and how does the movie do compared to the book for you. This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power.